today we're going to be unboxing the Capresso MG600. Hey Darren, <laughs> catch that! Thank you Tracy. Uh, yeah, we have the MG600 by Capresso, like Tr Tracy said. 10 cup programmable coffee maker. Let's see what we got here. Put it down. I like these size boxes, Darren. They're much easier to manipulate. Yeah, you can throw them around. <laughs> exactly. Alright, let's take the lid off. Kind of work. Got some covering. Charcoal filter. Oh, very nice. How you recommend that we use. Let's take the actual machine out. Can you grab that? Or I it? sure can. have crap, so we don't want to drop it, obviously. Okay. All right, let's put that on top. Oh, can you grab the crap? Got it. There you go. All right, and the handy dandy manual, as well as coffee scoop for your pre ground coffee. So, here's the manual. Inside, it will also come with the six gold tone filter. I like those because you can just rinse those out at the sink yeah. and you don't have to be spraying. As long as you keep them rinsed out for every use so you don't get the oil collection there, they'll last a long time. So do a very good job. Um, and the uh, charcoal filter holder. So let's first, when we first get the machine, the first thing you want to do is activate the charcoal filter, which I know we just had here somewhere. Ta da! Thank you, Tracy. You're welcome. Can I plug in here? Sure can. And what you want to do is you actually have your water meter right here. This tells you how much water. You want to fill up with about four cups of water. You do me the favor of doing that. Sure uh, can. Just pour it right inside there. How far do you want me to go? About four cups, which is right there. And it's a little more than four cups, but. Sorry about that. Let's pop the filter in. Like. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like so. Now what is this going to do? So this will filter out, they actually up to about 83% of the impurities in the water, um, your chlorine, any of your mineral deposits. So not only will it make your coffee taste better by not having that in your coffee, as well as it just keeps the uh, minerals and deposits out of the internals of the machine. So longevity of the unit. Yeah, exactly. This will last about um, six weeks or 60 cups. Okay. So we pop this in. And when you first get the machine, you put it in, you let it sit for about three minutes. And then you basically uh, just brew, brew it without uh, coffee in the holder. So we'll start that. So basically you're just flushing the system when you first start it out? You got it. Okay. So right now it's flashing, uh, it's 12.01 is what it's flashing. So let's set the time first. And Chase, do you know what time it is by chance? Uh, let's do 4.30. 4.30. And you just press and hold the hour button like so. One, two, three, four, and then 4.30, press and hold the minute button, and we have four, I missed it by a minute, 4.31. It's, probably a minute it's there when well, we got we're, there anyways, we're exactly. There. So, let's, uh, so let's first start just by brewing the, uh, uh, getting the filter activated and just brewing some water. So just press the brew button, which is this button right here. And machine will kick on and start brewing here momentarily. Now, how much water are you going to actually pull through? Can you stop you it at see, some you point? You want to start or? at about four cups. But this has the auto on, auto brew, um, off and on uh, feature, so you can actually stop it mid brew. Oh, Sometimes good. Sometimes you want to pour your coffee, you're making full ten cups. If you're like me, you can't wait to get your first cup. So yeah, I had that problem too. Yeah, <laughs> brew it halfway. Um, the uh, takes the gold tone filter, takes the charcoal filter. It also. Um, We'll have the auto on off feature as well as, uh, what's kind of interesting is this actually has a three to five cup feature, which is really unique to the compressor machines. Okay. So what that does for your smaller pots is it actually will slow down the extraction. Oh, so, so you don't get that over extraction. Right. Case. So you get a better, you get a better coffee. And this, this machine actually brews really fast. So it'll brew a full pot, 10 cups in, in seven minutes. Okay. That's really nice. Uh, it has a cup warmer. Which uh, or the pot warmer, which will um, keep it up. That stays active for about two hours. So, okay. um, that's nice. You can program the machine to turn on in the morning for you. Very nice. So, that's a must-have in my house. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it in a minute. You can't do it while it's brewing, but um, okay. what 
what I like to do is if you get up say six o'clock, you set up for about ten minutes before you get up. You know, actually have a pot brewed really fresh for you right when you get up. Oh, that so. could be dangerous or could be very good. Yeah. Now, so, is it available in any other finishes with this particular? This comes one? in the uh, with the uh, the MT six hundred, which is a uh, thermal craft. Oh, fantastic! Okay, so you can have a choice. You can go through and yeah. get a thermal craft or the glass. Yeah, craft. this has a nice uh, stainless steel finish to it. Nice sleek design. I like uh, the handle. The handle is pretty substantial right there. Yeah, it's a nice. Nice. On it. So let's uh, let's give this a few minutes to, to brew through, and uh, we'll get well, back to the your, program here in a minute. Your four cup level there. Now, Darren, with a unit like this too, once we get through the programming and so forth, what do you have to do really for maintenance-wise, other than changing out that small filter you showed? Basically, um, there's two things you want to do. Like I said, the gold the gold tone filter you want to rinse out, make sure you don't want to have coffee sitting there after you don't right. brew. But the, the actual craft itself, the gold tone filter, as well as the holder that the filter sits in, yes. is uh, dishwasher safe, upper rack. Very cool. Yeah. And then um, on about every six months or so, or until it starts taking, you know, it should take about seven or so minutes to uh, brew about ten, ten cups of coffee. Okay. It starts taking eight, nine, it starts taking longer, it starts slowing down the brew, it's probably time to decalcify it. Okay. And all you would use is a product like our Ernix, which we had a box. Oh, clean cap. Yeah, some clean cap. Dissolve it in a water reservoir. Yeah, this is a you, great little product. You run it for about two, per, you know, fill up a full pot. Run the machine for about two minutes so it fills up maybe two or three cups. Okay. Power it off for about 15 minutes. And what that does is it, 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 it um, dissolves any of the minerals or loosens up any minerals and deposits within the internals of the machine. Okay. Turn the machine back on, let it brew the whole pot. Then when that's done, you just fill it with cold water. Do a rinse. Do a rinse. And okay. you're good to go. So pretty easy to do. Um, the machine sits uh, 14 inches high, 9 inches wide, and uh, 8 inches deep. So yeah, I really nice. like the look of it's it. It's got a neat profile. It's not thing. a real wide machine. Exactly. It's not a real deep machine. It's nice, nice on your countertop because it, it comes in and it looks a little bit different. Yeah, which for is people nice. have stainless steel kitchens, it's definitely a match. I'm a fan. Yep. Definitely. Like, and I like the fact that the program is over here off the side. It's pretty yeah. easy to see. It's not in your way if you're trying to fill and unfill your carafe. If you look at the buttons here, I'll go over these buttons real quick. You have the um, auto button, which is basically when you put that on and off, um, preset times. Okay. You have your three to five cup button, which is when you're putting less than five cups, so that's the button you want to use. And to do that, you just hit three to five cups, then hit the blue button, and it'll brew um, you know, the, the, the proper timing. If you don't want to use a three to five, just go directly to the blue button. And it'll brew your eight to ten cups or five plus cups. Um, you have your hour button, your minute button, which I showed you how to, to program the time. Um, to set the the programming for the auto on uh, feature, you hit program first, then do the hour and minutes, and then okay. So basically, just that. program. So yeah. most important though, you have to do the clock first. Do the clock then first. Yep. The and then your filter button, you're going to want to hit that. I'll hit that now. That actually. Um, that when you first put the charcoal filter in, okay. and what it'll start doing is it'll start flashing green when it's uh, ready to change the filter. But you know, you really don't want to leave a filter in there more than about six weeks. They're um, you know, very expensive. We saw them as three packs, and it's, it's definitely worth changing. Um, it's like the oil in your car. You yeah. know, you have to do it systematically, or you're going to pay a lot more later. Yep. Now, how do you stop? You're going to stop the brewing cycle in between. Yep, you can it stop. Sounds like it's ready to it's, be done. It's just anyways. about done. But I could have pulled this out at any time; it would stop brewing. Um, but to brew your coffee, it's actually like like most coffee makers. It's one one scoop per cup. Okay. Um, you could actually add another extra scoop if you want it to be a little more um, aroma. Okay. On it. Um, one scoop per cup. Brew your coffee. Pretty much that's good to go. It's, again, it's fast and. Uh, I definitely recommend it for. Uh, it's a really nice for, looking for unit. And Compresso really has a great reputation yeah, for being I mean, a solid coffee maker. They've been doing it forever. They're in the industry, and you know they're a very good company to work with. So um, it has one and working directly through Compresso. So um, if you did have any problems, they would obviously get you taken care of right away. If you never had a problem with them, so sounds great. So thanks for visiting us, and we look forward to seeing you again when we unbox more merchandise. Thank you.